EastEnders latest update, Star and Jade Goody Sutton to be on. James Ferrer reveals huge EastEnders scenes ahead for Zack and Whitney. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EastEnders star and Jade Goody Sun to be on Strictal. EastEnders newcomer Bobby Brazier is expected to be grabbing some dancing shoes and take to the Strictly Come Dancing dance floor. The 20-year-old actor and son of the late Jade Goody joined the BBC soap as Freddie Slater and is now expected to sign up for the dance show. It comes as an insider of Strictly told the son. Bobby is the dream signing for Strictly. He's a young heartthrob who comes with a huge fan base. He also has a very personal backstory, and there's so much love out there for Jade. Bobby is the son of TV star Jade Goody and Jeff Brazier. In 2002 Jade, shot to fame after starring in Big Brother, and passed away in 2009 from cervical cancer. Since joining EastEnders, the 20-year-old has reflected on his mom and has previously said, I'm always being told that she's a hero and that she was funny and that people see me in her on a daily basis, which is nice. Bobby stars as Little Mo Slater's son Freddy in the BBC soap and has seen him featured in storylines, including undiagnosed ADHD and money-making schemes with Bobby Beale and Alfie Moon. James Ferrer reveals huge EastEnders scenes ahead for Zack and Whitney. EastEnders actor James Ferrer has lifted the lid on what's next for Zack and Whitney, Shona McGarty, hinting at some big plot developments to come. Both characters have been through the mill this year, with Zack having to come to terms with his HIV diagnosis, before the tragedy of learning that he and Whitney's unborn daughter, Peach, had the condition Edwards syndrome, leading to her being stillborn. Speaking on the red carpet at the British Soap Awards, the actor revealed the workload waiting for him and his co-star after the weekend. Monday, we've got eight scenes. Page after page after page after page of scenes to do with our future, and I cannot wait, he said. The 35-year-old also addressed the challenge of playing out such dramatic storylines back-to-back, and the duty of bringing them to a wider audience. The HIV story was probably the toughest thing I've ever played in any TV show. In the same month Zack and Whitney then have to give birth to their stillborn child, he explained. Although that was tough, it was probably the most creative fulfilling story I've ever had in any TV show, and that was because of Shona. We took it very very seriously, thanks to Chris Clenshaw and Kate at the top. They knew this needed to happen, the full effect. Bringing the HIV storyline to the screen was particularly challenging because of Zack's dramatic reaction to the news. The character struggled to come to terms with the diagnosis before revealing it in front of a packed Queen Vic in one of this year's most dramatic soap moments. It's hard because we don't think like this but the characters do. Zack thought he could die of it, he said. I, James Ferrer, no, I would not die of it, but you need to play this, as if it's the first time you've ever heard you are diagnosed with a virus you think will kill you. It's drama, but what we're doing is that the public will then go, oh right, there is something I could take in order for this not to be any worse, and maybe I could lead a long fulfilling life with that, and maybe even find someone, a partner that I could have a baby with. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.